Calm down. Take a breath. Clap. I'm about. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> One, two, two three. three. Clap. We are so good at that. Like jump. Ronnie, why? Ha- hey, Ronnie, why haven't you asked us to clap before? <laughs> hey, now he knows. Now, now we he found it. He found his calling. We so cannot do much, but we can. We can clap. clap we can clap time. in unison. We can. We're, we're good, good at that. that. We're good. Today we're gonna do more than clap. We're good about doing our homework at the table. <laughs> No, we're not going to do that. I'm here for the ride. Yes. <laughs> I'm not. I actually know what I'm talking about today. A little That's bit. That's why we just come along. <laughs> yeah. You're just got, here for I, clapping. I have, I have the articles at the ready. Okay. So. Well, that's good. I might need them. <clears throat> A couple of things. Joseph's father had an FBI investigation done about his case. And one of the things he mentioned in the FBI investigation was that he felt like Joseph might have been a criminal informant. And at first I thought, well, that's kind of a stretch. Like, what is that based on? So the more I read about this case, the more I thought, well, maybe, I mean, it's possible. It is possible. And he had filed this complaint. And in the complaint, it mentioned to them that the Indianapolis University Police Department told him that his Joseph's roommate was selling drugs. And at that time, Joseph had taken over the business, so to speak, and had started selling small quantities of marijuana. Well, there was no document. There was no indication in the files, in the police records that Joseph had been arrested for selling drugs. So, you know, that brings up kind of a point that, well, I mean, was that legit? Like, did they have him mixed up with someone else? Because we know from our earlier episodes that he, his name had been mixed up with someone else Mm -hmm. with jail. And so maybe he was mixed up with someone else, but there is cases well, there is a case, one case in particular, <laughs> where what? There is cases. There is cases. I know. <laughs> there, there are cases. I was thinking of one in particular, so that's why I got that mixed up. <laughs> there is a case in particular that we're going to talk about, which, you know, it sounds extremely similar to Joseph's Mm -hmm. and it makes me think that it definitely could be this. Now the death certificate, well, the FBI says they didn't find anything. In fact, their exact words were that there were no indications of drug investigations on or related to him. And there were no indications that he was being used as a source of any kind. He had never been booked into the Monroe County jail. That sounds like something the FBI would say when they're investigating I know, uh, anything at all. Like we have no, there there's is nothing. nothing, nothing at all. Are there aliens? Yes. <laughs> no, no. <They> say, no. <laughs> we have no evidence that there are aliens. <laughs> yeah, we have no evidence of absolutely anything. But they said that although the death investigation did not rule out homicide entirely, the evidence did indicate the most likely cause of death was suicide. Hmm, That's interesting, Hmm. isn't it? Because if that's the case, then why was suicide on the death certificate? And what evidence are they basing this off of? I ask this every episode, but seriously. What evidence? Like, Like, why suicide and not homicide? And why why just not put undetermined if they truly can't make it? A decision on it. Yeah, it should have been listed, could not be determined instead of suicide. If the FBI saw enough information in there that they said that it could have been, then it could not have been suicide. That's just how I feel about it. Now, the other thing that's interesting when it comes to narcotics is that it was a narcotics sergeant who was the lead investigator 
and he was the supervising agent on Joseph's case. He was at the scene when the body was recovered. He was present at the autopsy, and he was the only point of contact for the family. Why? But why narcotics? Do they not have a homicide department? Yes, they do. But he... is it so I could see this too is because he is an informant and the narcotics guy wants to make sure that he knows his guy is dead or or it could be it's Bloomington police and they're racists <laughs> or it's a combination of. Both. Oh, that's come up recently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bloomington period. Or, yeah. Or it might be a combination of both. But that's so if there's a homicide department, why wouldn't they take over? any suspicious death isn't that like the rule in indiana well if no one like visibly saw you die that was a healthcare worker well i would think that narcotics would be their own unit and unless there was anything related to drugs they wouldn't be involved at all yeah why would well, they even be there well yeah. even if they have... suspected it i think they'd bring narcotics in just to get like their opinion at least and say have you heard of this happening before in cases of narcotic diversion or anything and then they could say like oh you know we know this case from a while back there's some similarities like we'll take a look into it yeah but there was no at, to my knowledge there was no similarities there was nothing to point them in that direction at that point so even if they came in and said hey this kid you know was known to sell drugs he would come in and say, well, nothing was found on him. We think it was suicide, so he should peace out. And then they should have someone else come in. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just seems weird that a narcotics agent was, the, yeah. the especially the point of contact from that point on. This yeah. is how it happened in my head. They found a dead body and they said, hurry, call narcotics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's what happened from then on well, out. Well, and then the narcotics agent was actually there for the autopsy. Like, to see what? it. That only happens on, like, SVU <laughs> and they're not even there they go later and they're like bothering that poor lady yeah. <laughs> and, and just a reminder like as soon as they found the body they never treated it like a homicide from the get-go because yeah. as we've mentioned they threw everything into one bag they never like evident they didn't put everything in its own bag for evidence and they never canvassed I feel like they didn't really canvass the area I mean they probably did a little bit but they right. just put everything in one bag I mean right. I feel like that from the get-go is they never suspected homicide. Right. Which, why not? That and I have recently, we've pointed out, we know he was found face up, which they say is like very uncommon. And if you're committing suicide in water, you're going to be face down. Right? Yeah. Well, except for the fact that you have 66 pounds of rocks strapped to you. What if it was 66 pounds of rocks? Like the rock. Like drug. Rock. <laughs> well, is that the same as crack? No photos no have ever... That so it could seen. be so either way 66 not. pounds is a fucking lot but that's a lot of cocaine though I don't know if you <laughs> can fit that much in a backpack what i don't know i've never seen ronnie can you google what that would look like what is sure. 66 pounds of cocaine Hold on. sure you're getting arrested for yes sure. you're going to jail we're not googling it on our phone you do it on yours oh everything we're... i've looked up has put me in their profile oh you're so... definitely oh, yeah. a fap. Alley. Yeah. i might as well the fbi's been watching me from day one because I, I google things like how long does it take to drown someone oh god how long how long does it take for a body to decompose in the woods <laughs> Oh, here's a here's a video. Police find 66 pounds of cocaine in Galveston. Oh, what's it look like? All around these from 2015. Oh, I was just gonna say, put it on the TV. I don't know why that was touchdown, but it was. <laughs> I went, yeah. Oh yeah, that's 66 pounds of cocaine. Oh no, yeah, that was we're not. not no, nope. what if in oh. a backpack? It's like no. three of these tables long. Just kidding. Yeah. When in it, what is this all? I mean, is that know. a dumb question? I've never really been around coke, but I'm assuming it's like powdery. So like, yeah, but you can get it in rocks. Oh, yeah. Crack rock. We crack would like rock. specifically to see crack cocaine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you be more specific, sir? Yeah, keep going. I'll get it up in a second. Okay. Can we have In the, the meantime, can we watch the Ninja Turtles? <laughs> <laughs> can we get the origin of the word, please? <laughs> and can we use it in a sentence? Rock. Rock. And in 2015, IU had 17 informants. Jesus. on their campus wow wow yes like Where'd i know that, that is a, uh there was a, an article where they talked about all the different colleges and how many informants they had and what an outrage people you know because 
these are kids. It's dangerous. Yeah. They're kids whose brains are not completely developed. No also, matter what you want to say about it, they're just children. Also, I think I remember something from a psychology class. Isn't that a part of your brain development that where you like learn how to overcome a like addiction? So like 22 year olds like drink a lot to like a problem. But then for some reason, like at a certain age, almost everyone comes out of that. And that's part of your brain development. Well, besides the fact that you have police officers that go to school and learn how to do things like this, how to become confidential informants, how to deal with things like this. And then you're going to take a kid who may have been caught with a couple of joints in his pocket, and then you're going to have him out there selling cocaine to who even knows what kind of people, you know, it's just, it doesn't make sense. You're putting people in danger who don't need to be in danger. And especially when it's like mostly weed. Right. Right. And then it turns into other things that we are going to take a look at as well. Weed's the gateway drug. (laughs) You know, it's the gateway drug when you're an informant. I'll tell you that. (laughs) So 66 pounds of cocaine is roughly 29.9 kilograms of cocaine which is up on the screen well i don't know i think that size. could fit in a backpack actually well there's That'd no be a reference big backpack. size they said it was hmm. it i need yeah i need a hand print or something we need one of those like all right official tape measure i'm gonna go to the for scale i'm gonna go the east side and or ask for 66 pounds <laughs> <laughs> yeah crack. ronnie could you you know how we put rocks in your backpack could you put crack yeah, in your backpack you and see if it fits I'll yeah try. see what it looks like That'd be great. It's just an experiment. We'll be fine. <laughs> also, they never said the site. Was it an ordinary school backpack? Yes. Or is this like a laptop bag? Or is it like a duffel backpack? backpack. It, it was a school backpack. Okay. We assume, I guess. Yeah. I guess technically. No, since we never saw anything from the crime scene. I'll just look on Amazon and see if I can get us some crap. Ooh, why is this called you Cocaine can. Ambassador Bridge? Hmm. Ronnie Corsi, cocaine ambassador. <laughs> That'll get beeped. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I will definitely go on Amazon and have it shipped to my house. Okay. It'll be here in two days. Uh, please use the P.O. box. Now I'm going to use your address. Um, well, I am pretty sure that my kids need no more crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Maybe it's just fun. a little bit. Yeah. Now, we want to point out that even though it was 66 pounds of rocks, it was strapped to him and he was found in the lake. Another student. Oh, wait, can I? Yes. Just while we're on like do whatever rocks and like size measurements. I just looked up how much 66 pounds of actual rocks would be. And it's two of those like landscape bags of river rock is about 50 pounds. Yeah, it's very heavy. That's so much. So when I used I I used bricks initially, I could not get sixty six pounds of bricks in a standard backpack. I had to use an old army rucksack so I could get to sixty six pounds. And he's bigger than Joseph, so That's I just, don't know how. There's no way. No, and someone did that. No, yeah, someone put those in there after they got him in the water. They had to have. They had to have. Now, interestingly enough, another kid, college kid, Andrew Sadik, Sadik, I don't want to mess that up, but I think I just did. Well, let's just spell it out for everyone. S-A-D-E-K. Sadik. That's it. Sadik. There was a 60 Minutes that you can actually look up on YouTube that was on December 6, 2015, which occurred just months after Joseph's death and his death happened in 2014, which was the year before Joseph. Now, where was that at? North Dakota. And he was made to be a confidential informant just because he got caught selling a small amount of marijuana and They brought him in. You can find his full interrogation tape on YouTube and you can see how they were like telling him, you know, you're facing up to 40 years in prison 
And you know, he was scared shit. Right now, you know? I would be like, I and will go do whatever you want. Him? He selling marijuana. Okay. Yeah. So he and, could have gotten a lawyer and probably not got right. Got nothing. Right. But he was terrified. And there's no record you know they, they tell you there's going to be no record and the reason they don't get a lawyer is because they're not under arrest right they bring them in they don't put them under arrest they don't read them the miranda rights because they don't have to because they don't put them under arrest they just bring them Talk in and them. then give them this option before putting them under arrest so they don't have to read them their rights so they give them an option and then they tell them hey if you call your parents the deal's off the table. You know, you can't tell anyone. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're shady. So this, these kids are h- terrified. They're going to be kicked out of school. They're going to go to prison. They're going to be in trouble with their parents. I mean, all these things that going on, th- on through their mind. And also 40 years for selling marijuana. And what do we do? 15 years for rape? Oh, yeah. our murder. I mean, yeah, people get seven years for murder. And then, Oh, that's just, yeah, I, I still would today as almost 40 say, yep, give me the wire now. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, and then they make them sell. It's not like they make one sell. They make them go and they sell to three, four, ten people. And they're basically creating criminals because mm-hmm. they go to their friends who don't usually sell weed or whatever they're trying to get. And they say, hey, I, I just need a little. Can you sell me some? And then they will because your friends or your frat brothers or whatever. Right. And then they'll sell you some. And then now they're a dealer. So now it's a felony. Man, they're probably like. 15 people that I bought drugs from in college that <laughs> yeah could have been an informant. Yeah. You know, and you, you just don't know. And only one of them was an actual dealer. too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely getting the drugs into your house. That's, that's for sure. So this kid, he had done everything. He did everything that he was supposed to do. And he had one by that he still had to do like you know he every day he had to call in he had to do all these things that you know it was ridiculous and he was still trying to go to college and get his degree and then one you know one by was all he had left then he disappeared his parents tried to get in touch with them they couldn't get in touch with them they went to campus they did all these things. And they had no idea he was an informant. Were they arresting these kids that were buying from him? So they wait a while to arrest so that they don't know who it is. Um, Yes. They don't associate it with anybody. Like if you're in a group of friends or live in a dorm and you're like, you went to jail. I went to jail. Who'd you buy from? Right. Oh yeah. Even if it's like, well, like, yeah, you're going to figure it out. Yeah. You're definitely going to figure it out. And then his body was discovered in a river near the campus with a backpack weighted down with rocks with a strap tied together across his chest. Doesn't that sound familiar? Yeah, it does. Yeah. The only other person I know that exact same thing happened to is Joseph. But the difference is he had a gunshot to his head. Oh. Yeah. The gun was never found. And the police suggested that they thought it was suicide <gasps> yeah yep i got a gunshot in my head and yeah. then managed to to drown myself to drown myself they think that he somehow put the rocks in the back where's the right? gun quickly right no no Shut the front door the parents they are left still it as a suicide? parents are still fucking fighting for this i swear that's okay. insane it's insane where's and, the gun okay and on top of it they it must have gone down in the river. Was the gun? He threw it, up? probably. Yeah, he probably after, threw but it. But I mean, after the you shot shoot yourself in the, in the head, after you shoot shoot yourself, you're gonna fling it up in the air, and it's gonna magically go far enough and away that it would never be found. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. And then you're gonna shove the backpack on because you probably wouldn't do that beforehand because you'd be stuck underwater. Yeah. How do you do that? How does that happen? So his, pa- I don't know, like. I don't know how his parents have gained composure through all this. And then his body was found on the line, the state line, like the, (gasps) 
And so no state wants any part of it. Between North Dakota and, and Minnesota. Minnesota. Have and they called in the FBI or can they? Yes. Okay. And but nobody wants to deal with it. Well, but the FBI is like, yes. well, yeah, it's just a college They kid. did. Yeah. It's suicide. Did it they say like the suicide. same thing? Did they yes. say that they said for Joseph? Yes. Though? They there's all no are saying the same. There's there's no evidence that anything I was wrong. I want to know. Like, but the... he didn't have a suicide note or anything. And so they're just saying, you know, there's just nothing to go on. And I'm just like, you got to be <gasps> fucking kidding I know. It's because they don't want to own take... a gun. No, he didn't own a gun. They don't want to take the blame that their actions and their intimidation caused him to be murdered. Right. And they didn't even find out. They still didn't tell them that he was a criminal informant until they hired a private investigator and that private investigator uncovered it and told them the information. They then what? still then what? didn't tell Then what did the police say? And <laughs> then they admitted it. <gasps> I'm mind blown. I'm sorry. They should have said that right away after he was Absolutely. found. No, even when he was missing, I feel like they should have said it. They but, should have said, okay, this might... This might be might have why he's yeah. gone or why he got killed. He was doing some side work for because us. they but, weren't even really looking for him because they thought he had run away mm -hmm. because he was trying to get away from his responsibility Maybe in the beginning, but not when you have one left and then they're going to let you go. But right. They, I mean, they probably would have roped him into more, but sorry, not saying oh anything God. makes the police look even more shady. Yes. And they have a, facebook page his parents do and you know they had they update it really consistently and What's it, it is i want vivian oh, you know what when you like you said when i first heard the criminal informant theory i was like that's crazy but then after hearing yeah. that guy story i want I, anything's possible at this point <laughs> i so want I it was aliens i don't know and his family to get together and just compare some notes yeah like let's run through all the people that were from in minnesota north dakota area <laughs> That lived in Bloomington at the time. It's called Justice, Justice for Andrew Sedek. Okay. And you have to join it because there okay. is a lot of information and it's they're constantly updated. And, and they've had some legislation passed and a lot of things have come out of it, but no kind of justice, you know, nothing like that. So it's. I don't know. It's very. Do they still have that private investigator that helping them? Or I don't know if because we need to get him to look at our case too, right. and then maybe see if he sees any similarities or something. Yeah, and the the reason that he found, but here's the thing: the reason that he found anything was because he was able to get his phone, and he went through and <gasps> he he never erased anything on his phone, so he had like two years worth of messages. So he was able to see the messages from the officers and all the drug deals and all this stuff. And he saw him there where he, you know, felt really bad about all the stuff he was doing because, you know, it's like you feel guilty. You're setting up most of your friends, you yeah. know, a lot of these people. So you feel bad. And so he could see all that. So he knew what was going on. If I ever ask you guys to buy drugs, you know why? Just <laughs> yeah. say no. Just say no. <laughs> and, you know, with Joseph... They won't release that. They won't release his phone and they won't release his laptop, which just oh, puts more suspicion man. to the police because why won't they release that stuff? I wonder if there's like a cop who moved. Or if they got the yeah, same Yeah, that's what training. I'm saying. We want a list of the cops that were on his and on Joseph. Or oh, something. yeah, that went from one place to the other. Or drug dealers. I mean, like, or I don't know. Their informant winds up dead, and they ship them off somewhere else, and then yeah. now another informant winds up. Yeah, it's it's too similar. It's very very similar. I I just don't understand. I mean, that's, I mean, everything but the gunshot. I guess. Yeah, the gunshot that would have given. I bet it would have. <laughs> that would have given it away, right? Oh yeah. So yeah. they couldn't shoot Joseph, but it's too similar and too soon and. What they do with the, what they do with away. Andrew's body? Was he cremated? I don't know because Joseph. Remember the chief, the officer talked the dad into like you want to cremate him right away. Yes, right. Uh, which I don't even know if we've talked about that yet. But what if he, we need we to, did on the first yeah we did we we did, needed to reach out though? to Andrew's parents definitely and find out that. more about that. I'll do that for sure, and. 
He's not the only one. He is the only one I could find that was found in similar circumstances. But Rachel Hoffman, she was actually one of the first that caused a huge deal. And that was uh, in Tallahassee. She was caught with marijuana and a few Valium and ecstasy pills. And that was her second marijuana arrest. And she was just selling to friends out of her house. And they told her if she didn't become a confidential informant that she was going to spend four years in prison. So she signed up and was sent out to, to her first undercover buy. And the first buy that she was sent out to do was the biggest in Tallahassee's history. <gasps> now, God, here you have a fucking I know. Here you lazy. have a college student. She was set out to sell 1,500 ecstasy pills, one and a half ounce of cocaine, and a handgun. <gasps> to a fucking stranger, probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably, yes. she looks, I can't see her picture well, but I'm she's sorry. Yes. The like, fact look, that you're using she's a She's like probably this sweet little girl who's yes. like, I don't even know how to use a gun. I know. She is, she is really pretty. And, and she has a cat. So Aww, I love no. her. That and cat looks evil. I'm sorry. I think okay. if you're an experienced drug dealer of that caliber to have that much stuff, no one is going to think a little a girl a like girl. that that looks like that like yes, that's obviously a, a setup. girl right so that's I, probably why things turned out the way they like did I've for her everywhere. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so she goes and she goes to meet them they have 20 cops you know listening in she has a wire in her purse and she goes to meet them well the guy gets in her car and makes her drive somewhere else. Well, they lose her. Oh, oh no. And then they find her. She's been shot five times. <gasps> and oh, they had found the wire in her purse and they had dumped her body in a ditch 50 miles away. Did they roll it oh. a suicide? <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> I mean, Florida is pretty fucked up, but I guess they'll take I know. accountability for this. Right. One. They they probably they're yes. like, this is too far even for us. They paid two point eight million dollars to her parents for what they did. So they, I think they yeah. did. Doesn't make up for it. It does well. not make up for losing their daughter. That's for certain. I can't believe I how found, many criminal informants there are. I felt like that was a movie thing that never happened. I thought I mean, I knew it happened to people that were like Older, in the drug mob. trade yeah it's it's a thing that you think of for the mob yeah. but i mean you have police officers who look like babies yeah. who look young why not use them why not use the officers yeah. that look young to go into colleges and, and sell if are that's trained what you to want, like protect or, themselves yes yeah. exactly instead of like these vulnerable college kids who are just trying to stay out of trouble it's so i know that's hor- i don't know how that's legal well honestly. and it's it shouldn't be we it should. shouldn't be there let's was, get a bill going yeah. there was another well, so there is a law there is a law what that was it? actually put in for rachel's case it's called rachel's law and it requires law enforcement agencies to provide special training for officers uh, who do the recruiting for confidential oh, informants Jesus. oh like oh, but don't don't train but not even the confidential, confidential informants it mm-hmm. it is yeah uh, special training for the officers that recruit them and instruct informants that reduced sentences may not p- be provided in exchange for their work. Uh, oh, well and then. then also allows informants to request a lawyer if they want one, because that wasn't the case before. But see how it's but worded? It says, That's still yeah, It says nothing about training prepping the, the informant for what they might be like, yeah, but it also says allows do. the informants to ask for a lawyer, but it doesn't say that they have to ask, tell them that they can ask for a lawyer first. And it There's doesn't a say that they have to like. give them one. Yeah, but you're a college student. You're in trouble for drugs. Do you think you can afford a lawyer? No. You're terrified. You you have the shit yeah. scared out of you. And I then mean, they say stuff like, you can ask for a lawyer, but we're going to take your deal away. Yes. You'll never get the That's opportunity. exactly what they're They should saying. not be able to say that. Right. I mean, I'm not writing the law books here, but I think there is a big, <laughs> yeah. like, well, everybody, no, no, let's there. vote Danny into a lawmaking position. Yeah, we should run yes. for office for something. We should. For oh, something. we're. I, I'm, I'm going to run for it. county coroner. I'll run. Yeah. <laughs> Joey, no. Joey could do it. Yeah. I, you know, I, I was saying last night is that my kids are. I have heard so much that I've talked about that they're going to get pulled over to get just a speeding ticket one day. And they'd be like, I need my attorney. 
<laughs> you know, I'm like always asking for attorneys, but I need my attorney, ma'am. I'm just pulling you over because your tail lights out. I just no, asked how your day was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, gonna get 17 attorney. more cops over there real fast. Uh-oh. After all the shows I've watched about true crime and like how it can go from zero to 100 so quickly, yep. I'm like. <gasps> I'm sorry. Am I under arrest? I know. Or, I, know. I know. You're just like so nervous about oh, everything. That just now. made me think about the uh, the one where the guy was pulled over for speeding or something and it ended up leading to the cop shooting him because he reached for the glove compartment to get his registration out. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's I, what I, I see that. About. Like when I even when I've been pulled over like within a couple of years and I got he was like, give me your stuff. And I'm like, I hold on to the steering wheel. And I'm like, can I reach in my glove box? Yeah. And he's like, he goes, he's they seem like at a weird angle behind me where I can't really see them at all. Like I never saw his face. And he oh. was like, yeah, you can. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I just get it out before like, they walk out my car. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, but sometimes if you do that, then they're like, we saw you reaching. Alicia's going to get shot from the back. <laughs> they're, yeah. They're, they're like, where did you box? reach for in your yeah. little box? That's what Amy's got a good story for another day. Oh, probably. <laughs> I've heard it. That's why. Or can you said. tell it now? Yeah. That's what I said. I almost got shot in the head just like that for reaching in my glove she did. box. Have you heard her story? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, another time I would have about peed that. Yeah, I go look up Amy did. in yeah. the. Um, let's see, what state were you in? Gun, Missouri, Missouri Kentucky, Delaware, Minnesota. <laughs> Again, Minnesota. another Minnesota problem. Um, I found another one. His they changed his name and his mom's name for the article, but he wound up dead ten months after he was arrested for or not arrested for inadvertently selling twenty dollars worth of LSD to a police officer. Inadvertently? Oh, well. He knew it was LSD. They, yeah. he, I mean, maybe. <laughs> maybe he thought it was bogus. And he was like, <laughs> trying to like con a kid. Like, but still, like How do over you, $20. How, they found him dead? dead. And was, then his parents came to family night, like family weekend. And they couldn't. They're like, we haven't heard from him. And then they made the like building guy open the door and they found him dead. What was like, how did he die? I haven't gotten that far. Oh, gosh. Now, now and, we're dying to know. Yeah. 66 <laughs> pounds of rocks on the stairs. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's now, not funny. Logan did. He was crushed. Logan's That's not dead. funny. Don't put that in. Now, Ole Miss has been in a lot of trouble because they have had a lot of informants. And in fact, their university has been shown to pay $100,000 to the nar- narcotics unit there in the city of Oxford every year. And, and one of the their, guys, what's their endowment? That they get? Yeah. One of the guys, and they changed his name also for this 60 minutes episode. He, you know, was same thing. They tell him you can call a lawyer, but this deal is going to be off the table. And one of the first things they asked him was if he could buy meth or heroin on campus. And he told him he couldn't. And the first eight months or so, he had to call them every single day at the same time. He had to call this guy. And then they listened to one of the phone calls that he had made to him. And the officer says to him, I don't give a fuck where you're at. And the kid said, yes, sir. And he said, I'll turn this shit in and I'll come and beat the fuck out of you. And the kid said, yes, sir. And then the CI says, or the the cop says, come there. It'll be the last fucking place you ever go in your life. And the kid says, yes, sir. And the guy says, do you feel me? And the kid said, 100%. And he (laughs) said, it took all I had not to come see you last night. He said, yes, sir. (sighs) And the guy said to hunt you down, but I'm trying to calm down. And the guy said, you know, I'm just going to let this tape speak for itself. That's what the, that's what the lawyer said. And I'm just like, what the hell? I mean, it's bad enough to intimidate them and to get them to play this game with their life. But that's just taking it too far. That's a threat on their life. Yep. So this attorney, Ken Coughlin, he is like the attorney for confidential informants in college. He's kind of taken on all of it. And somebody needs to because... Ole Miss wouldn't comment on it. And obviously universities want drugs off campus. That's a huge issue, but this is just not the way to go about it. Right. It's not at all. And 
we don't know. We don't know if Joseph was involved in drugs. He wasn't on paper involved in drugs. We know there's been people that said that he was m- making something DMT. possibly, DMT. you know, possibly he was making DMT maybe. Um, and we also know that they were told by IUPD that he was selling. We don't know that because he was never charged, but I know that you can't put 60 pounds of rocks in your backpack and walk three miles and, or walk three miles in the dark then walk two miles back down and then walk back three miles and then get in the river and put 66 pounds of rocks in your backpack and drown yourself. It just isn't making a lot of sense. And if there wasn't the quote suicide note, I don't know if they would have treated it any differently or not. Right. And let's remind everyone the suicide note was not a suicide note. No, at all. It was, I'm leaving the country as in, it was a note that I hope nobody finds his body. Right. So it's horrible evidence to go off of, in my opinion. It because is. Why, if he's going to commit suicide and he's going to tell his sister, I'm sorry, I have to leave the country. I love you. Why would he not leave a note that says, hey, like, let me give you some closure as your family of why I'm going to kill myself. But the one thing I can't get past is how was the note in his house? If it didn't involve the two people that were in his house, right? I've, I've, if you mean if it's a cl- criminal informant, yes, that's what I've wondered too. Cause I'm like, oh, if it was the police, and how did they sneak it into his house without, unless they were in on it? But that's a whole new door we'd be opening, right? I've wondered that too. Like, where, how would that happen? Which I mean, unless he really was terrified for his life and, when he left that note, then he thought that I'm, I've am i got yeah. to get out of here because I'm in some trouble. Yeah. And then what? I mean, well, what's the timeline for when he went missing? Didn't a police officer go to check on him in his house? Yes. So and I, mean, I don't if they know just, cause if the, they found the note before the police officer came or mm-hmm. after. Well, I know. Remember that we didn't see it until later that day on Monday. So, because remember, they were like, why didn't you guys notice in the morning? Like, oh, we were in school because they were in class. So right. it's not crazy to think. I mean, it's a little crazy, but so is everything else. Yeah, this point. everything that maybe, I don't know. Logistically, I, I don't know. <laughs> but also, it's all nuts. I so. mean, I could throw the, some theories out there, but I think the they're kind CSI of crazy. in your brain thinks they could have taken fingerprints off that note or mm-hmm. Things like that, which maybe you can't. I don't know. It it might not have been possible. There might not have been fingerprints on it. But none of that was done. They didn't do anything. And at this point, it's too late. Even if they still have the note, so many people have handled that. (sighs) They probably don't even have it. They said that, you know, you can't, again, you can't get the laptop and the phone. Why? Like, usually with any cases of suicide, they give all of that back. Right. Why just be like, I'm sorry for your loss. Here's the stuff that was with them. If nothing's on it, why keep it? What's the latest on getting the police records? Supposed to get it this week. It is Thursday. I know. (laughs) Blame COVID. Everything. Everything's blamed on COVID. Everything. COVID probably. So the note that he left on his bed all said, had to leave country. Don't try to contact me via cell. It won't work. We'll contact you once set up overseas. It's, it's the had to Maybe leave country. Do we ever, did we ever consider if it's like a cryptic message? Like code? Like, like had to leave country, letter. had to leave Bloomington? Because that would make more sense than... Why don't you say the? I mean, it is kind of country. Let's there. break it down. Yeah, <laughs> had to leave. Had to leave country. Who's your country? There you go. People have referred to Bloomington as "Who's your country?" Really? That's true. I've heard that. What else? What's the next line? <laughs> don't try to contact me via cell. It won't work. That's because it's in the river. Send carrier pigeon. Ditching my phone. 
Throwing my phone in the river. We'll contact you once set up overseas. We'll contact you once I'm past the Wabash River. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, you'd be good at this. <laughs> I'm pretty good at making stuff up. You are pretty good at lying. <laughs> I don't know watch lying, you, but <laughs> making up stories. Making up stories. That's it? Yep, that's it. Then his name and then, of course, the date, which blows my mind completely is the date written in the same handwriting as the letter it's hard to tell i think, I think so. so it's got that because they're talking about how they talk about how like all the writing is kind of slanted and you can tell like the number yeah. and the, the slant itself is a little like curved and i don't know but it is you do if you look hard enough i mean you do see like i wish they would have another person like professional analyze it because you can see where like some of the letters are written over like over they did it twice like yeah. you're really trying when i'm to trying make it look like yeah. somebody else's letters because like when i and i don't see if he wrote if they say this isn't his handwriting and his handwriting and he normally has neat handwriting and this is written in a rush why would he if he's in a rush go back and like rewrite the same letter because you can see where it's written yeah. and my thing is when I used, to, if I like when I was little and I was trying to write like my parents' hand yeah. signature to go home it, on yeah. the bus with someone else, that's something I would have done as yeah. like a kid, like write the letter twice. Yeah, and make and if it you're look in a right. hurry, you're not going to take that yeah. much time to rewrite letters. Yeah, it really depends how how much we want to overanalyze everything because we could we could do this all Has day. His yeah. sister shown us a sample of his handwriting. Oh. No, they sent it to the police department to have it analyzed and they never no, got like results from it had. Mm-hmm. they I never would like got any results it. tell her to send us some we'll post yeah. it and see what people think post it on reddit people are smart on there some people are smart on there <laughs> <laughs> i mean you'll get a lot of people coming out for it though so it might lead somewhere you never know yeah and you know and we That's can what... also break down the text message he sent to RBI, Vivian. reddit bureau of investigation he says viv i love you i'm leaving the country By not telling you why, I'm keeping you safe and protected. Please don't try to contact me at this number. It won't work. I'll contact you once I'm set up overseas. Thank you for everything, Viv. I love you and I'm sorry. It's just... Again, this one says I'm leaving the country. He added the. I don't know. And what is he keeping her safe and protected from? Right. Could I see that too? The informants. I can't imagine losing a family member like that and not having answers. Oh my gosh. Mm-mm. I would freak out. I know. Um, it, Viv- like, and Vivian is the best about, she has she, so much composure and she's so like professional. I mean, how angry are we? And it's right. Not even right. Real. It's and we not didn't even know him. Him. Right. <laughs> That's like in Molly's case this past week, watching John Sheldon's court case, I was Carrie and I were like we were both crying like whenever <laughs> they found him guilty I was like oh my god I'm so happy oh. so you just get so attached to these cases and then it just becomes part of you like you feel like they're your family and yeah. you yeah. want so much to get answers for them so one thing that I think about is that if he truly was a CI and it was freaking him out would anyone close to him have said, like, we noticed he was kind of acting strange the past few weeks and or he sounded like he was hiding something? Did they did they ever say if they talked to any of his friends and they mentioned something like that? They all said he seemed fine and he was making plans for the week. He wasn't depressed, but no, like sk- feeling skittish or just kind of acting like he wasn't fully present, like not necessarily being depressed and he could still go out about making plans but he just seemed kind of like distracted no nothing like that no okay i was thinking if he was like doing this extra work and and that's why i think something if that's the case something must have happened that night you know something had to have come up quickly and 
Does his sister have any right to contact the carrier, like the phone cellular provider? I don't think she knew what kind of phone it was. And I don't know if it was like a name brand or if it was like a pay as you go phone or something. I, I think she said he had like a track phone, a pay as you go, like a disposable. Then I don't know that you can even do that. No, I the way that his either. text messages are being sent, there was like a max amount of characters mm-hmm. he could send. So he wasn't using an iPhone. Right. Yeah. Cause th- that text is broken into two. Yeah. So it's probably a track phone would make more sense, especially a lot of kids in college have track phones because they're poor. <laughs> yeah. I've been there, done that. Yeah. yeah. Which also sucks because you can't get it from the carrier. The police no. can. Yeah. And the police have the phone. Yeah. So I'm sure it's all of it. And the police ask the family if it was okay if they broke the laptop to be able to get the information out of it and they said yes but then never heard anything else you don't have to break a laptop to get into it. they do if you don't know what you're doing <laughs> I, I i i mean ask Ask my ex husband if I broke it. <laughs> All they needed to do was get like a crazy girl, no, right? Yeah. Just get a crazy wife. <laughs> you don't have to break in anything, isn't that right? I babe? just need the Amazon not even crazy. Return. <laughs> I just really needed the Amazon return label more than that. <laughs> I just need a credit card number 12, 12 of the 15 times. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully, we get the court records this week and i'm gonna be super pissed off if it's just the same stuff that we've got already oh gosh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> his attorney's gonna say oh i got you the autopsy isn't that yes. what they did to vivian yes we got the autopsy and the death certificate and they're like we already I'll have it and we'll i'll be furious absolutely furious if we get that information that's definitely game going changer to be what we talk about next week and if not, we're going to be tr- Keep trying. trying to figure out yeah. why we didn't get that information. What are they hiding? What are they hiding? And I'm going to talk to Andrew's parents and try and figure out if there's some sort of weird connection between I these two know. cases. I would like it to know so if they've bizarre. even heard about it. I'm sure they did. Jo- Joseph's um, dad ever reach out to them? Well, his case was mentioned in the FBI report, but that's what originally made his Joseph Sr. think about it. Right. So did they ever reach out to jo- I don't his know. family? Andrew's I don't family? know. I'll ask okay. Joseph Sr. first before okay. I reach out to the family because I'm sure they are like, yeah, it's co- not a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, not that, at all. There's no what? Like, was he? Andrew. Oh, yeah. Like, Do we know how many pounds of rocks Andrew had? No. And I couldn't find that anywhere. I was about to ask if Andrew was uh, in the same fraternity as Joseph, but he wasn't. Well, in fact, they didn't even know there was rocks in the backpack until they got the police records and stuff, the little bit that they got later on. They they didn't tell him anything. And makes me wonder like what all is there about Joseph that they're not telling That they're not telling. Right. All of the things like a gunshot in his head. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. No, because we've talked to the girl that found him. Well, we've read the autopsy report, so surely well, they would, would have put that in. in. But we also it could have, it could say that no. it could not. Well, I mean, they could have like omitted that if that guy is standing right there and it's like, yeah. But then yeah. Vivian, that one guy, the one guy actually did look at him, just never. Well, they did it. a second autopsy. They would have right. mentioned that. That's right. Yeah. Another okay, thing, don't freak me out so much. Sorry. Well, another <laughs> thing I keep thinking about with Joseph is that what if they drugged him to make him compromised where then they, they strapped the backpack on and pushed him in. So he did truly die by drowning, but he was compromised to the point where he couldn't move. But I've seen the toxicology results. No, but n- not if they use like succinylcholine or something. He yeah. wanted, I, this is, I'm going back into forensic files here, but yeah, it, it's given through an injection and it gets out of your system quickly. So the only way they would have been able to find it is if they could see like there was some rogue needle mark on his skin, which because they urged for cremation, can't find that now. Hmm. Just a thought. That's some house shit right there. I know, right? That's, that's way past my pay grade. <laughs> it's, it's far, it's far, <laughs> which is zero. <laughs> it's far fetched, but I'm like, it could be. Because I yeah. doubt any of the frat boys would have gotten 
their hands on that. Yeah. Unless they like raided a chem lab. At least one person in a giant house of guys is a science major of some sort. I'm sure. It was Joseph. <laughs> it, unfortunately, Whoops. yeah. Hmm. Well, he had to have at least one other person. All right. Well, have the day you deserve, especially if you go swimming with a backpack full of rocks. <laughs> yeah. I know your secrets and I'm telling on you.